When you browse through major English newspapers, most of the articles on Korea are about North Korean nuclear issues. But recently, one more topic seems to have been added, the Bitcoin frenzy in Korea. Even before the craze, Bitcoin has been known to many tech-savvy Koreans as the first virtual currency. But its phenomenal surge in value in recent months has put cryptocurrency in the national spotlight. Although traded all around the world, the craze seems to be most conspicuous in Korea, according to a recent New York Times article. The article focused on the rising popularity of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in Korea. Additionally, the Wall Street Journal cited an interview with a market strategist who said that this whole thing is being driven by the average Joe, who isn't nearly as financially literate as a professional fund manager. These reports are backed by the numbers. In Korea, the daily trading volume of Bitcoin more than doubled that of the KOSDAQ. Most analysts seem to agree on one thing. The current Bitcoin frenzy is a speculative bubble and investors have to be cautious. But there are many who say, if a bubble exists, is not the point. In the game of financial investment, some people believe they will make money even when a financial products are expensive. They believe it's not too late to jump on the Bitcoin bandwagon. Koreans are eager to see the North Korean nuclear issues disappear from the daily headlines. But many Bitcoin investors in Korea don't want one topic to disappear from local or international newspaper. And that topic is Bitcoin prices breaking new records. Right. So, um, yeah, today we're going to be talking about uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, most people will say uh, Bitcoin, but cryptocurrencies also include other forms of brands are Litecoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and Monero. These are all cryptocurrencies. And when we talk about crypto, it means Latin for secret or hidden. Increased government security will drive away current and potential users of cryptocurrency, where a new and innovative blockchain technology is being used. Um, so we talked about before cryptocurrency, and then we're also mentioning blockchain technology. Uh, it was formed back in 2008, and it's the basis of what cryptocurrency the technology is being used for. But yeah, so blockchain technology can be used for other things besides cryptocurrency. It can be used to encrypt files. It could be used for transparency. Uh, there's even a theory now that blockchain technology will make elections totally transparent. Uh, it's basically an open database uh, that can't be manipulated or hacked. Next. If virtual money faces greater government regulations, people may be more hesitant to invest in these new forms of financial products, which is using new blockchain technology. All right, so since cryptocurrencies are in their infancy, the market is very risky. Also, the Bitcoin exchange exists only for trading. There is no physical infrastructure, so it does not create more jobs and its economic benefit is limited. Um, so before I said uh, cryptocurrencies are in their infancy. Uh, infancy is like a, a, ba a baby. But when something is it's in its infancy, that means it's beginning. So uh, the cryptocurrency market started back in 2008 and is becoming more popular now. But since it's in its infancy, we don't really know the history or what will happen. Um, it will take years before we can probably figure out what's going to happen, or to even recognize trends in the market. Um, since the Bitcoin market is unregulated, there are opportunities for market manipulation. A group of Bitcoin investors, in theory, could get together and conspire a pump and dump scam and create a flash crash. Uh, so we talked about market manipulation. So that would be people trying to use this Bitcoin market or cryptocurrency market for their own benefit. Um, so get together and conspire. Conspire is when people uh, get together to do something for a negative purpose. Uh, I mentioned pump and dump scam. Uh, pump and dump is very popular in the stock market. A group of people will get together, say a stock is worth a lot of money, uh, and they'll tell their, their friends and their friends. And as the price goes up, as more people buy, they'll sell at a higher price. But in reality, the 
stock was worthless. Uh, and then I said, create a flash crash. A flash crash is a sudden crash in a, uh, a stock market or any market in general, where you'll see a, a very sharp decrease in prices and then a rebound. Usually flash crashes are done intentionally with people with large amount of power and money being able to sell short which means to short a stock means you're, you're betting that the price will fall. And if you do that, uh, the market will then crash, people will sell off, and there's a potential to lose a lot of money very quickly. Right, so going forward, there's a, a controlled supply of Bitcoin. Uh, there's a set number, and that number of uh, just for Bitcoin, I believe, is 21 million. It'll never go above or below that. That's the set number. So... Cryptocurrencies will become more popular as time goes on. There is a set number of each cryptocurrency, so there will be no inflation, and the value will go up depending on demand. As cryptocurrencies gain popularity around the world, their value will continue to increase. Yeah, I know. I know in Korea, it's very hard to use Bitcoin. There are only uh, two Bitcoin ATMs here in Korea, one near Coex and one near Itaewon. And if you would like to take money out, if you have Bitcoin, you can only take out 100,000 won a day at a time. So that's it. So it's really restrictive. Um, so only a tiny fraction of Bitcoin is being used for transactions for goods and services. Most of it is being traded like stocks in the hopes to make money. Uh, so yeah, we, uh, we say in the hopes of, that means uh, in the hopes to make money, that means we hope that we will be able to make money or we're hoping for something good. Even though the cryptocurrency's market value recently reached 500 billion US dollars, very little of this money is being used for personal transactions. Yeah, Bitcoin, unfortunately, and other cryptocurrencies uh, are used for illegal purposes online. And in fact, there is no more cash or credit card transactions. All illegal transactions are done through some form of cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies are untraceable and can be used to buy illegal products from the dark web. If the government finds a way to control cryptocurrencies, it may reduce their value. So uh, I mentioned the dark web. Uh, the dark web is, uh, you cannot find it on your Google or neighbor searches. Uh, you have to download a special browser. Um, and if you go on the dark web, you're basically anonymous. It's very hard to trace your identity. So criminal organizations use it to sell everything from hacking equipment, hacking services, drugs, uh, weapons, anything illegal you can buy on the dark web. Um, due to transactions for illegal goods, some countries have banned cryptocurrency transactions. This will cause a huge drop in the value of cryptocurrencies. Yeah, Bitcoin is an option in a sea of investments. People will always invest in the hopes of making money. Yeah, so I talked about a sea of investments, uh, or you could use sea uh, as, as the ocean when you're talking about there's a lot of something. For example, uh, I went to Everland and there was a sea of people there. Uh, but yeah, we say Bitcoin is an option in a sea of investments, meaning there are a lot of investments out there. You can invest your money in a lot of things. Uh, next, a sucker is born every day. People will make or lose money on cryptocurrencies or other investments. Uh, a sucker is born every day is an expression uh, that we use saying that, you know, a sucker is somebody who's not very smart or someone who may invest in a product and then that or a financial product or stock and that stock goes down or they might invest in something they didn't do research on. So a sucker is kind of a stupid person or a a person who makes a decision maybe based on emotion and not logical fact. But yeah, sucker is born every day. This kind of expression means people will always invest in something even if it won't make them money. Thanks, guys. And if you're going to invest in Bitcoin, invest wisely. <laughs> See you next week. Bye-bye. Next week. Bye